I'm Katrina Mather and I run the Body Toolkit retreats in the West Coast Scottish Highlands and uh, also in Glenshee. The retreats are based on juicing, juice therapy, juice detox. Um, that's the foundation of them, but they also incorporate um, spending lots of time in nature and gentle walks and gentle stretching and yoga um, and coaching to combat stress and techniques to, to really, in essence, be the best version of ourselves. Um, I use rented accommodation, I work out of Arasig House on the West Coast and Cray House in Glenshee. Wellness to me is thriving, not just surviving. I often ask people when they're arriving at the retreat, you know, what's their definition of health? And the Oxford Dictionary definition of health is the absence of illness. That's really uninspirational. To me, health is thriving. It's having all the energy you want to do all the things you could possibly wish for. It's, it's you know, being the best version of yourself. I bring groups up um, for one whole week, um, once a month, to detox, de-stress and, uh, and really recharge in essence. The people that come to my retreats are looking for, well, there's a variety of motiv motivating factors. They might be looking to lose a bit of weight, they might be looking to de-stress, or they might have a health condition that is sort of inspiring them or motivating them to take action and change. Um, typically people after the retreat find that they lose a bit of weight, you know, up to sort of seven pounds. Um, but that can be a motivating factor but the nice thing for me is at the end of the week they're talking about how they are sleeping better, they, their digestion is better, they have more energy um, and they feel inspired to have and lead a healthier lifestyle as a result of the retreats. But one of the biggest ills of our time is that we are so disconnected from nature, we're disconnected from each other, we're disconnected even from our own bodies, you know. Um, and actually taking people into beautiful wilderness and, and remote nature, it just gives a sense of perspective. Um, it's very hard to, to, you know, really dwell on your worries when you're at the top of a hill or on, on the shoreline watching a beautiful sunset. Um, it's so incredibly grounding and that in Scotland we're so blessed with an abundant sense of nature on our doorstep or very close by to wherever we are. In running the retreats I've been attracting about 90% female sort of demographic who ordinarily wouldn't be coming to this part of, of the Scottish Highlands and what's been really interesting for me is I've given them um, a sort of pool to come to the area and when they're here they fall in love with it you know it's so beautiful regardless of the season and they're all talking about coming back with friends and family and loved ones and I think the big draw is that health and wellness focus um, you know people are looking for they're craving time out they're craving often you know a bit of weight loss or a bit of de-stressing and ways that we can support people in doing that are you know encouraging people to go out on local walks or you know recommending you know your favorite beach or a little quiet nook and cranny got so much fantastic sort of natural produce and fresh food that you know eating well shouldn't be an issue and you know just being proud of what we have on our doorstep being proud of the nature regardless of the season you know it always bothers me that Scotland tourism window is July and August and I think that's such a shame it's magical regardless of the season in fact each season brings something totally different and you know I think really for me I've really played on the fact that if they come to me in October, November, January, when it is cold and wet, and yes, we've been out on walks and there've been horizontal hailstones in our face, I've really played on the fact that, you know, the log fires are on, the underfloor heating's on, and, and the, you know, that cozy element is, is almost as appealing as, you know, a fantastically beautiful June day. I guess I really have two passions in life. One is running the retreats, and, um, you know, they're consistently described as life-changing, which I never really expected when I started out. But my other passion really is having created a business in this rural setting, which I love so much. And I feel really strongly that, um, you, you know, I've, I've created something which is attracting people to the Highlands in the off season as well as the peak season. And I just think, you know, Scotland, we need to be proud of our shorter days and our wild weather.